As fans of the sport, most of us are very familiar with the colors that our trainers and drivers wear and the horses they send behind the starting gate. So we like for our post-time viewers to really get to know our horsemen competing on our Delmarva circuit. That's why we bring you our popular Q&A segments. And today, we've got all kinds of interesting questions for conditioner Jay Gannon. How did you get into harness racing? My mom and dad raced horses when they were young. Uh, so I was born into it, so to speak. And then my grandfather also raced horses, uh, Lance Bennington. And uh, I have a great uncle, uh, Frank Whiteley, who trained the great thoroughbred mare ever, uh, Ruffian. So racing horses is in the family. So that's what I decided to do, and here we are today. What makes you feel like a kid again? Actually, when I get outside and get to play sports and basketball and just be free, you know, not having to be anywhere at any given time, uh, just being able to relax from the business, it makes you feel young again. You get out and you play and you just have fun. I mean, it's just what life's about, having fun, no responsibilities for the day. So it kind of makes me feel young again. What's the best advice you've ever gotten about training horses? Actually, that came from my Uncle Frank Whiteley. Uh, the best piece of advice he ever gave me is treat your horses the best you can to your ability and earn people's respect as a trainer and an owner by taking good care of your horses, doing the best that you can. Don't take anything for granted in this business. And the harder you work, hopefully the better the reward. So after 40 years of doing this, I feel like I've accomplished what I set out to do. And uh, I'm happy with where I'm at at this point in time in my life. If you could be the member of any TV sitcom family, which family would it be? Strange question there, but uh, Roseanne. Um, I would probably be the son DJ, because I have two older sisters. And my family were on the go all the time, and life could be pretty hectic when your parents are racing horses. So us kids kind of stay at home free with no parent parental guidance all the time. So our household was a lot of action going on at all times, and uh, my mom and dad were strictly Roseanne and Dan. So that worked out funny for them. And then my sisters, you know, they were two older sisters, and I took the blunt of a lot of a lot of punishment from those two. But it all worked out, so, uh, but Roseanne, I think, fits, fits our family well. If you weren't training horses, what do you think you'd be doing? A pilot. I love to fly. Um, I actually had a chance to get my pilot's license. I had a friend of ours that was willing to give me lessons. They were a certified instructor. And at the time that that was offered, I was just racing too much to really move forward with it. But looking back, I wish I had taken the steps and went on and proceeded to do that. But I love to fly. I think it's the greatest thing ever. What is something you're terrible at, but you like doing it anyway? I'd say probably playing the slots because I, I play for since the day they first started here and I've yet to ever win a jackpot of any kind. So I would probably say playing the slots. I, I play all the time, but I just never win anything. So I, that would probably be my worst thing ever. I just can't win at a slot machine. I'd be happy with a $100 win, so slots. What's perfect about your life? My girlfriend coming home after a, a bad day of racing or a rough week and knowing that we each have our support, my girlfriend Carlin. Uh, no matter how things are, we know we have each other's back. And it makes life easier when you have someone there that's on your side. Maybe not always agree in the barn, but we know we have each other's back when time comes to make decisions and so forth. So my girlfriend Carlin is probably the best in my life. What's on your bucket list? I got two things, jumping out of an airplane <laughs> and uh, I also would like to travel to the Maldives. Uh, I'm an island person. I love the beach. I love the sun, shorts. Um, I've traveled to Bora Bora, so I decided why not travel to the other side of the world and go to the Maldives. So two things, jump out of my plane and uh, enjoy life at the Maldives. What do you bring to a friendship? I think I'm a pretty good friend. Um, I'm loyal. Um, I'm sincere. I'm honest. You know, I, I think a good friend is someone being there for the other person at any time. 
you know, anytime you need somebody there to help you, a friend is there. They don't ask for anything back, don't expect anything from you. It's just being there for that person uh, when they're needed. And I think I make a good friend. I bring some humor to it, you know, but I always consider myself a good friend. I try to be a good friend. So. Other than winning, what's your favorite part about harness racing? I think in the mornings, you know, getting the jog and training the horses and, you know, it's quiet at the farm and then coming to the track at nighttime and, you know, being with friends and people that we race against, you know, we're all competitive, but when it comes time for something major, we all band together. And I think that's a good thing about being in harness racing, like any other business, <clears throat> you, you're all here to win. But when it's all said and done, remaining to be friends and wishing the best for everybody. But just coming to the track and enjoying life and then training in the morning. What's the coolest thing you've ever done? On my trip to Bora Bora, I took a helicopter rides, which I've done on some other islands. Um, I love jet skiing all around the islands and so forth. But uh, traveling, I mean, I, I think those are the coolest things you could ever do is travel and see the world. Um, taking time for yourself, you know, and I think vacation is the best way to do things, and I'm a vacation person. I look forward to my vacations every December, so to be able to do that kind of stuff, I think, to me, is the coolest, because I enjoy jet skiing. I enjoy being on the water, so that's kind of how I look at things. I relax, and it makes me the happiest. What's your best life advice? I probably shouldn't say it, and I say this jokingly, but I was told never get married. Uh, but seriously, um, just be true to yourself, you know? Uh, live your life for yourself. Don't live and worry about what other people think. Do what you wanna do and what makes you happy. And if you can do that, you'll have a stress-free, you know, a happy life. So I try to live that more so now than I did before. But um, I think just, you know, be you. And you live for yourself, not one else. So whatever makes you happy, that's what you should do.